All right, we're back in the city of El Paso Museum of Art is presenting this year's Border Biennial Fronteriza, where works of art from a variety of fronterizo and border adjacent communities will be shown. And joining to tell us more is Eddie Hayes. Welcome. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Of course, what can people expect for this exhibit? Uh, it's going to be a beautiful exhibition. We have the work of 50 artists and over 100 works. Uh, we've invited artists 200 miles north and south of the U.S.-Mexico border from the Pacific Coast to the Gulf of Mexico. So what regions are these artists from? Well, the artists are from multiple states, states in the U.S., from California to Texas, even some artists who are working in New York and Florida who have a foot in the border uh, through family, through, uh, through connections they have uh, to La Frontera. And we have artists from Chihuahua, <coughs> artists from Baja California, um, uh, Tamaulipas as well. So yes, a great representation of fronterizo art north and south of the border. I'm pretty sure, I mean, we could see, you know, here all the artists have very different styles, but it's really cool to show it as a, a whole collection. Definitely. Uh, you're going to see this in one space. You know, what's ironic about the Border Biennial is that there are no borders mm -hmm. in the space. Uh, you walk in and it's a seamless installation, nice. uh, a beautiful presentation of contemporary art. It's really taking the temperature of the contemporary art scene along the border uh, in, in no better place than in such a fluid border community yeah. that, that is El Paso, Ciudad Juarez. And this is opening tomorrow. Yes, we open tomorrow. Everyone's welcome. Uh, between 5 and 7 p.m. we'll have our reception. Many of the artists are coming. They're coming from, uh, from far away to come and be here. Uh, so please uh, join us. Uh, the party begins tomorrow. Admission is free, oh. and we'll have the exhibition on view through April 14th. So, uh, you know, it's a good time chunk for people to get in there and really experience all the artwork for sure. And 50 of the artists selected, they'll be there. Well, we wish all of them were or here. We'll have a good number of them, <laughs> uh, an incredible representation, especially of artists from, uh, from, from the area, from uh, Ciudad Juarez, from El Paso. But we have artists traveling as far as, uh, you know, from Baja California as well. And then, like you, you mentioned earlier, it's so important, you know, what better place than El Paso to show this? Why do you think it's so important for people to come on and see all these different works? Well, I think this is a really unique opportunity. Um, this is a tradition of the El Paso Museum of Art that began in 2008. What's really unique about this border biennial, which is actually the seventh mm -hmm. iteration, is that it's, um, it's being revived after five years. So we're looking at, um, you know, these incredible artwork created uh, after the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, what's incredible, we had this, you know, we, have, we had over 250 submissions. Our curatorial committee so selected it, you know, distilled it down to 50 artists. And it's just a really, it's a beautiful celebration. And what I love about it, having walked through a couple times during the installation, is seeing how it starts to um, really widen your perspective about the, about the border. Uh, it's, it's giving the artists the chance to tell their own stories and for the, the border to start telling its own, its own story through the eyes yeah. of its artists. I love that. Well, Eddie, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for the opportunity, Stephanie. Of thank course. You. Once again, that is tomorrow, so go check it out. Great. We'll be right back after this break.